Hey there, my friends, it's Brad, the Bearded Piper, and I want to wish you all a happy International Pipe Smokers Day. That's right, today is Monday, February 20th, 2023, and I'm getting over that cold. You can probably still hear it a little bit in my voice, um, but I'm out here in the garage enjoying a nice bowl of Carter Hall in that brand new Brigham Klondike that I showed you all the other day. Uh, this pipe is just absolutely gorgeous, and I like to put a couple bowls of something like Carter Hall or other Burley blend through a new pipe or even a pipe that's been reamed down a lot. I uh, is it necessary? Probably not, but I like the idea of building up kind of a neutral base for the cake. So whether it works or not, I don't know. Now, I have been planning on doing this video or something similar to this video for a long time. And every time I think about it, I'm like, eh, I don't know, I tweak this, I change that, I tweak this, I change that. And if you've watched my videos for any number of time, then you'll know that I have a thing for bags. Um, you know, not, not, not just Brad's bag, which is a whole series, that's all, it's a whole it's own thing. But, you know, when I was a kid, I was always looking for that best backpack to take to school or the best, uh, we used to call it a book bag, which was when I went to, when I went to school, back in my day, when I went to school, we carried a gym bag, like a duffel bag as a book bag over our shoulder. We didn't do backpacks until we got into the high school. Um, and then it was always looking for the the, you know, a good bag for that and a good bag for this and the you know, perfect luggage and the perfect this and briefcase and blah, 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 blah. I've always had a thing for always trying to find that perfect thing and I, for a perfect bag and I never can. Um, my wife teases me sometimes about it, but you know, hey, it's just who I am. That's just, just how I work. So last year I decided that I was going to put together a bag and make it perfect for me um, for a daily pipe kit. And that's when I did the video on the Nutsack. Um, and yes, it's a real, it's the name of a company if you're not familiar with it. And I bought this bag and I showed it to everyone uh, right around Christmas of 2021. It was during when I had COVID. Um, it's a great looking bag. It's a great bag. It really is. I love this bag. I use it for a bunch of different things, but for a daily bag to, you know, coming in and out of the house or, or something where you're not going to be gone very long type of a thing, it was a little bit too big. It's too purse, you know, too much of a purse. So, um, then I, I, I did a, a video in the fall where I, I showed a couple different messenger bags because they were a little bit wider, a little bit easier to take stuff to and from pipe club and, you know, long distances and camping and things like that. Um, but I realized that I needed something smaller to take with me on a daily basis. And I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it. And Charlie over at Boca de Boynton had a video a couple years ago where he showed his, it was again, it was from the company Nutsack and it was called a Man Bag Damn It. And it's an MBD, Man Bag Damn It. That's actually the name of the bag. And I thought that's perfect. But again, I looked at it and I'm like, eh, it's not quite wide enough for the things that I wanted it for. And I thought I want to be able to put sunglasses in it. I want to be able to put my wallet in it. I wanted to be able to do, put band-aids in it. I wanted to be able to put um, lip balm in it. And my wife says, Brad, that is what you call a purse. That is a purse. That's 100% a purse. That's what it is. And she's like, you know, we're going to call it a purse because you're a man. It's a man purse, a purse. And I'm like, okay. So I looked at a bunch of different bags and, I, and a bunch of different things. And I finally decided that I was going to do, I heard Adam over at um, uh, Get Piped was talking about on the, one of the podcasts. He was on a podcast, I can't remember which one it was, but they were talking about him using, and don't get mad, don't click off, stay tuned, listen, because you're going to like this, Fanny Pack. And I thought, huh, a fanny pack. I thought, I mean, you know what? I'm, at the time, I just turned 49 years old. Um, I shaved my head. I've got a big gray beard. Been married for, uh, at that point, it was just a little over 24 years. And then I've hit that point in my life where I could wear a fanny pack. Why not? You know, who cares? Um, will people point and laugh? I don't care. Let them point and laugh. So I decided that I was going to go that route. So I watched a bunch of videos. I went to a bunch of different websites. I went to a bunch of different manufacturers. And believe it or not, there's a ton of people out there that do everyday carry. And you're probably one of them. You may very well be one of the people that does everyday carry. And you get into these bags and that's what a lot of folks use them for is for everyday carry. But 
they're usually used more, not necessarily wearing as a fanny pack, a lot of them wear them as a sling bag. So I'm gonna pop up a couple pictures here and I'm actually gonna look at them while I talk and then I'll pop the pictures up as I go. So the bag I chose was from VanQuest um, and it is a dendrite large waist pack, um, also known as a fanny pack or if you're in England, a bum bag. And a lot of folks don't wear them around the waist. I mean, that's just not where you wear them at all. Uh, you wear them across the back, like this one, um, across the front, like this, left or right. Or you can wear it on your bum, like that. Or you can wear it like this as a fanny pack. And you know, you're thinking, hey, that's not really a cool look for you. But now, if you think about it, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he has a very famous picture of him wearing a fanny pack. So here is him and me, and okay, if you probably can't tell the difference right here, so I'll just tell you that I'm the guy on the right in the gray shirt. That's me, the other guy's Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because I, I know it's probably hard to tell which one's which by the picture. So anyway, that's that. I chose the fanny pack for that reason. However, that's not how I use the bag at all. Um, I don't put my wallet in it. I don't put my pocket knife in it. I don't put my lighter in it. I don't put that stuff in it at all. It's just turned into a bag that I throw over my shoulder and take to my van and leave a sit in my van. When my wife and I go somewhere, I'll take it with me uh, in case we go someplace and I want a pipe and I have my stuff inside it. Uh, I will, I shouldn't say I don't typically, I don't always, sometimes I'll throw my wallet in it, but I don't, it, it stays in the van. It, it's become literally a pipe bag. So that tells me that I spent a whole lot of money on a bag that I planned on wearing around my waist or I planned on wearing as a sling bag that I just found isn't the right thing for me to do, but it is perfect for my pipe kit because of the size. So let me show you how I use this bag. Oh, okay, so I chose this VanQuest Dendrite large bag for the biggest reason is I'm a big guy, I got a big waist, and this strap will fit around my waist. Um, this strap's actually made out of uh, seatbelt material, so it's kind of cool because it's really comfortable. Um, I'm not going to get into, like, you know, if you watch any of the EDC videos, which I watched a whole bunch of it when I was trying to figure out what kind of bag would be best for this, and uh, they'll talk about what it's made out of and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into that. So the front pocket here, I really don't use for anything for pipe reasons. Um, I'll just throw my, that's my business cards or my wallet in there. If I'm wearing gym shorts or something like that where I'm worried about stuff falling out, I might throw my wallet in there. Um, or I, usually when I leave the house in my pocket, I have my wallet, I have my case knife, I have my uh, Zippo, and uh, those are usually in my pocket all the time. Um, this case knife actually works really well. This is a perfect little tamper here. Um, I, I've used it for that many times. Um, but anyway, sometimes I'll have those in the front pocket, but most of the times that front pocket is empty. Now, inside is where the big part pocket here is where the pipe kit happens. Now, this bag, like I said, VanQuest makes a lot of tactical stuff. Um, and this bag is usually used for people doing uh, concealed carry uh, or everyday carry. So inside, it's high vis to make it easier to find your things. And the back here is hook and loop or Velcro, and you can buy stuff like this or a holster or magazine carriers, and it'll actually it'll actually stick back here. Um, I picked this up so I because I thought maybe I would want to organize it, and it turned out that I, I didn't really want it. So in this front pocket up here, I keep um, I keep lens cleaners because I don't like when my glasses get smudged. Um, I got a pipe nail. Uh, my buddy John gave me this really cool antler um, pipe tamper because I was over at his house with this bag and I didn't have a nail in it, so he gave me that. Um, I have a big lighter in case my Zippo runs dead. Um, I've got lip balm, I don't know why that's in there. And I have this little cool Zippo thing here. This is uh, actually a Zippo fluid. And you gotta be careful when you open this. This is two different lids. Um, this, this one here is, you gotta make sure it's tight because there's a rubber gasket in there and you fill this up with Zippo fluid. You gotta hold onto this pretty tight and unscrew the top. 
and then when you unscrew the top there's another cap and this cap here you unscrew and it will actually it's a nozzle and this is enough to fill up your zippo one time if it's completely empty uh there was a when you buy these they're like 10 bucks on amazon um, when you buy them there's a ring on them and there's a little rubber uh thing like it's this actually right here um that you put a zippo flint inside and then it had these uh this little clip on it uh, and it was held on here with a cheap uh metal ring and uh, I was doing this video once and I was showing you how it opens. And when I opened it, I twisted it and this whole thing twisted off because of that cheap metal ring And in the bag. It doesn't need that anyway. So anyway, that's what's in this little, oh, and I have a, uh, where is it? I have a knife in here too. It's, it's actually a pretty big knife. And the only reason I have this big knife in here is in case I want to cut flakes, you know, in my pocket, or not flakes, uh, but a plug. In my pocket, I usually have this, which was perfect for cutting plugs. But in case I don't, I have this big knife in there for cutting plugs. And it was a gift from my sister or somebody, so I just threw it in there uh, for that. Uh, in the bottom, I have some pipe cleaners, because that's essential. Uh, I have this little multi-tool here. Um, because I like my Brigham pipes and sometimes the Brigham distillators get stuck. So I have a pair of pliers to be able to grab it and pull the distillator out. It's the only reason I have them in there. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've ever used them for anything but that. This is actually a coin purse. Uh, yeah, I'm really getting into it, guys. This is a coin purse. It's made by my Manhattan Portage. I got this on Amazon as well. And I got this for the same reason I have the pliers, because I love my Brigham pipes. And in it, I have my Brigham distillators. And then when you take a distillator out, you can throw it in here to let it dry. And you keep your clean ones and your dirty ones separate. And then you just replace them. So that's what's that. And then uh, back in the back where that you would put your holster or your magazines or you know one of these things back there, uh, I keep three different pocket jars. And the key for me is they're three different colors. This is green, tan, and orange. And uh, in each one of those is a different blend. And I will get into that here in a minute as well. Let me set this back in here. When I bought this, I also bought this uh, VanQuest, it's a slim um, an admin case, I guess is what it is. Um, and inside this is perfect for two pipes. Um, they fit in here, they're pretty snug. They fit in here perfect, you don't have to worry about them um, getting banged up or anything like that. So when I leave the house, if I'm going by myself in my van, I'll have a pipe like this that I'm already enjoying, and then I'll throw these two in there as well. So I'll end up having three pipes, one when I leave, and then you know, one if I want one later, one if I want one after that, and then I can go back to the first one if you're somebody who likes to leave your pipes rest at least 24 hours. So, you know, and again, not everybody likes to do that. So that is, um, uh, that is there and then in this back pocket the only thing i keep in this back pocket is a pen and a tablet now why do i have this pen and tablet in there i have this pen and tablet in there because i can never remember what is in those pocket jars so i write down orange right now is white knight tan is father dempsey which i always know tan is father dempsey because i always have father dempsey with me and green is john marr because i like to keep some sort of an aromatic around because if i'm going to be in a public area something that's got a, a nice room note is um you know good for that so and then in the bottom here you know is a cheapo pay it pen so um and that's that that is my entire daily pipe kit i have fire tobacco pipe tamper cleaners basically what it is but this bag is the perfect size bag for me um you could use anything for this you could get use uh like charlie from boca de boyton uses the man bag damn it you could use a shaving bag um you know you can go to walmart or someplace and get a bag that you put your shaving stuff in um you could use anything you could use a pipe roll anything but the key essentials for me are pipes tobacco fire cleaners 
and a tamper. Um, is this overkill? Maybe, but it also allows me to have multiple pipes throughout the day. Um, you can, I could squeeze more pipes in there, throw them in a pipe sock or something like that. Um, but I can't really get a, a actual dedicated pipe case in there because it's not big enough for that. But if I'm going to do that, then I take one of the messenger bags. So I realized that it's not a one size fits all. You can't do anything. So I use a fanny pack because I am cool like the rock. Okay, there it is. That is my daily pipe kit. Uh, I felt like this video was gonna be super cool and super awesome. And then as I was making it, I'm like, it's kind of a nerdy thing. You're kind of a geek, Brad. You got a fanny pack. And you know what? I'm almost 50 now and I don't care. I'll wear a fanny pack. I'll throw it across my shoulder. I'll throw it across here like a purse. I don't care. That's what I will do because I am Brad the Bearded Piper. Now, you may not want a fanny pack, you may not want something like that, but again, like I said, you can use any type of bag to put this stuff together. Um, you could use a plastic bag that you get from your local grocery store or gas station if you wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because they're not very durable and you're going to drop stuff and you're going to lose it. But you could do that if you wanted to. You could use a pipe roll because you can get all, some of that stuff in there. But I like the bag itself because I can get a little more things in there and it's a little more versatile. Like I said, if we're going over to the park and we're taking some dogs for my hike, I can throw my keys and things in there, throw it around my waist, throw it over my shoulder, um, across my chest or across my back, and not have to worry about losing my wallet, my keys, things like that, because it's all in the bag. Um, and then I have some pipes and I have some different blends and things like that to go as well. So, and it's always ready to go. It's always in that state. Um, you know, yesterday when I left to go to a dog class, I grabbed the bag, went to a dog class. I was there for a big period in the afternoon. It was beautiful outside. My buddy and I sat out in the parking lot and I had enough stuff right then and there to be able to enjoy a pipe while we were waiting for our wives to finish doing what they were doing. So that's it. That's my daily pipe kit. Hope it wasn't a boring video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope I at least made you smile. And again, I'm sorry about the confusion between the picture between The Rock and myself, but I pointed it out that I was the one on, you know, the that night. So you know which one was me. So remember, my friends, and I need to come up with a different closing because Jersey Piper, Kevin, said when he was watching me pack my pipe, he never packs his that firm. And I'm starting to think that um, I'm a little deceptive maybe with that never pack your pipe light pack, or never pack your pipe tight always pack your pipe light type thing so but I don't know maybe I'll come up with a new closing but until now until then remember it's better to pack that pipe light than it is to pack that pipe tight